So, this is the section where we are called to be hands of God. Now, with each one of these things, we have an opportunity. One is to sort of make love in a jar, to make an extension. And this is stuff that you can, you can give as cooked or as promised. Depends on what your group wants to do. Now, there's also some other things that you can see that are some art projects to tend to people, especially in nursing homes, things that you can do for their windows so that they can look out and see it, some other things. And those can be work alone or by yourself. But this particular thing calls to mind an earlier time within the Christian church where we were called together to larder, where people would come together and they would bring sort of every, every widow would bring her last portion, bring everything together. It's the concept of loaves and fishes. And that very much is that issue then, is being the hands of God. That you pass those baskets around and instead of being out of things, you have a multitude that requires more work. So we are called to be the hands of God then in a way where the work that we do is made lighter because the burden is lighter with Christ. And that yoke in itself is also made lighter because of our brothers and sisters. Because doing a project like this is incredibly tedious if you do it by yourself. But the load is much lighter when you can assembly line it, when you have a tangible thing to show for it. So I would like you to think about that concept that we talk about in Matthew. Think about the Beatitudes in general. Who are you trying to help? And that help is not just to feed them, but to give them that soul food that says, you matter and you are cared for. We have taken attention to assemble this, something you cannot buy in the store, because we care about and for you, because Christ calls us to. You know, we live in a time of COVID, and one of the things that was said that helped Christianity spread was the plague. And the reason that the plague helped Christianity spread was because Christians were the ones that took care of people, in fact, took care of their persecutors that were dying of the plague, exposed themselves and literally died from the plague as well because they put themselves at risk because Christ would call them to care for those frail people, to care for the sick, to care for people in need. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that these have to go out with people with COVID, that you have to expose yourself to illness to deliver this good you are making. But you are showing care by doing it. And whether you then put it on a doorstep of someone who is impacted by COVID, you're doing that same connection that the early church felt was tangibly important as you carry the mission of Christ. To say that we take the risks to spread the word of God. We take the risks to spread the love of Jesus. We take the risks to be the hands of God. Understanding that those hands then will ultimately exhibit the sacrifice of Jesus as he dies for our sins. It's a tangible thing. What I hope is you have some fun while you're doing it. I hope that this recipe in itself is something that you get to sample, and I hope that you get to give it to people whose days it will make, and I hope that it's something that maybe you do again next year, not just as part of this, but just because. Thanks again for coming. Have fun. Good luck.